What's going on, Shrew Game? My name is Camden. Hope you guys are having a great day. And in today's video, we're doing a nice little update on Sundial, also known as ticker symbol SNDL. We're going to break this down technically in our long-term point of view, even in our intraday viewpoint as well, because we are absolutely ripping. Oh my, this stock might just make it to the moon. And it's not only Sundial, it is weed as a whole. You can see this is popping. You got ACB, Aurora Cannabis, just a straight shot up. You can't make this stuff up, man. Tilray up 14% on the day after doing nothing but moving sideways. It's just straight shots up uh, market-wide in relation to marijuana stocks. So let's go ahead and break this down, Charlie Brown. Get right on into the video. If you're here right now, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the shrewd gang. But other than that, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So more or less, there was a lot of bullish investors in Sundial's float. There's been a lot of bullish investors um, in Sundial's float, uh, not only making a lot of money on this run up during your January rip to February rip, but also continuously buying into the weakness for Sundial stock during your pullback. And it's been a quite a while, a long time for consolidating in this trend. So with this being the case, you definitely had a lot of pent up pressure. And even with you starting to rip down here at these cheapest valuations, I'm gonna put a huge value alert. <laughs> And of course, there are some things that they could sneak you with, right? Because of course you're making that high or low, which is a beautiful bullish indicator, portraying to you that this really could have been the bottom, high or low indicating that uh, you're getting some strength after what could have been the bottom. But just make sure you're not gonna cap out here. Get some weird trend after this, just to pull back lower in your bearish trend. That's what I want you to keep your eyes peeled on because as much strength as you're getting, uh, not only today with your straight shot up, but just in general from this lowest point, it's beautiful and it's amazing. The difference is though, is your volatility is capping out every single time you get a short-term little run-up. They're not really just getting that release, that release. That release you tend to get in Sundial's float when you get into deep bullish trends. So track your volatility along with your price action. If this caps out like it did the last time, the time before that, and the time before that, then the short sellers in the float or just the people betting against the stock are looking to drag this down again after a nice little run that you just had. So keep your eyes peeled around the supports of 25 to 30 cents. This is really gonna set yourself up for higher prices ahead. And if you pull even lower down to that support area, that is demand zone on top of demand zone, truly setting yourself up for a huge rally. In your intraday standpoint, you've already hit your short-term resistance, so I would expect you to cap out around this area, uh, just in the short term, if you will. RSI is overbought, your volatility is having a straight shot up, you're stretched deep into bullish territory, all signs point towards a little bit of a rejection right where you're at, unless you do something different where you kind of sneak above and you kiss it as a support. That would be a very bullish indication right before market close, hinting towards higher prices ahead. When it comes down to Sundial's max pain, you're trading around the 70 to 75 cent area now at the top of that spike. The difference is though is with your max pain being 50 cents. Uh, we could be closing near this by the end of tomorrow, uh, which is Friday. So I'm gonna give that a boo real quick. <laughs> it's not really too bad of a thing. Honestly, if you're gonna be a buyer in Sundial's float, then of course, prices falling are bad, but it just gives you an opportunity to buy more at a cheaper price. So with the high spot up calls being the $1 strike, the high spot up puts this week being the 50 cent strike, you can see that bulls are definitely making headway in the float compared to the put buyers, the bears in the float. The difference is though, is with you running up way above that max pain, you could possibly get close to areas near a dollar, but just don't be surprised if you do curl back towards the end of the week to close somewhere around 50 cents. When it comes down to Sundial short interest data, wow. There's a lot of borrowing on the day and hopefully there's some shorting on the day too because if they've been shorting at any point before what you're trading at right now in Sundial's float, then you <laughs> you can see how much of a hard time they're probably facing as of right now. Um, a lot returned on the day, but way more borrowed on the day. This is exactly what you want to see as a bull, but only because you're getting bullish activity. If they're borrowing all of this stock to try to hit you up at your high points today, then they could take advantage of this run by making money on the pullback lower. So keep your eyes peeled, all right? Your utilization is almost capped out, so your cost to borrow is starting to rise. You're only 11 to 12% short. 
But the difference is, is you have around 240 million shares that are short in the float or estimated to be short in the float. So there's a lot of short shares in the float as of right now. And it seems like even after your recent pullback, it's gotten a little bit better, but the short sellers have not let up yet. Your days to cover is still increasing along with your shares on loan. And they're still not letting up even on a day like today. So it's not peaches and sunshine yet. It's not beautifulness and awesomeness yet. You're starting to get the volume pouring into Sundial. So it's beautiful and it's fantastic. But with this volume starting to spike, uh, how long will it last, right? And I believe you're setting yourself up in your long-term trend to go from bearish to bullish. It just might take a little bit of time. It's a beautiful rip and you want to ride this momentum, but don't get caught at the top of the momentum. Other than that though, if you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll help me out more than you can even imagine. It truly will. Hey, it might help you as well too, dog. Get some more faces in the channels, the streams, the videos on a day-to-day -day basis to see stocks like Sundial up almost 20% on the day and still at cheap valuations with massive growth potential ahead. Other than that though, y'all stay safe out there so I can see you guys tomorrow. Shrewd Gang, I'll catch y'all boy as well. Peace out. Uh... Shrewd Gang.